Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Halloween. It's been celebrated all over England. It really is a unique celebration here. People are putting carved pumpkins outside their places and it really is quite an amazing and quite visually uh, different celebration. Now the roots of this word come from Scotland, I believe. Uh, it's All Hallows Eve, a celebration that's uh, designed to acknowledge those who are not with us anymore. And it's, uh, I've got an interesting story for you. Many moons ago, when I first had my first car, I was exploring the countryside in Wiltshire, where I used to live at a time. And uh, it was dark, it, it didn't have many um, street lights out, and I drove through a small tiny village. I don't even know the name of it right now, I can't even recall. But it was foggy and it had many, many lanterns around. Carved pumpkins were everywhere and suddenly I started to notice silhouettes, silhouettes of people. Now I thought, mm, that, that's different, no one's supposed to be out, why people are out? And then I looked very closely turns out those were scarecrows so it was some uh, local celebration of scarecrows as well but you can imagine pitch black it's dark it's night the fog is down and you see carved pumpkins with lights in them and silhouettes of scarecrows it was a very cinematic experience unfortunately at the time I didn't have a camera to uh, to capture this but I still remember it and it's still very much alive in my heart so how is Halloween celebrated in England? Obviously you have trick-or-treats when kids are knocking on doors asking for sweets. Then the other thing is uh, beautiful and ornate displays of pumpkins all over storefronts and cottages as well. However, let's have a look at the roots. Where do they go? Where does this tradition come from? What does this whole pumpkin thing mean? It turns out that the tradition of Halloween or All Hallows Eve comes from an ancient Celtic festival of Samhain. The point of this festival was to ward off evil spirits and therefore you dress in these costumes to mimic these spirits and say, hey, I'm as scary as you are, if not scarier, go away. It was not to summon them, it was to ward them off. And that was the whole point of this ritual of dressing up as witches and demons and devils and whatnot. So that was the origin. Then when Christianity came to England and our Catholic Church decided to adjust the local customs and uh, adapt the local festivals, they renamed it into the Old Hallows Eve. Trick-or-treating originally involved poor people knocking on doors asking for a little bit of money so that they could pray for the health of the residents of this house. The big question is, where does pumpkin come in? Now, it turns out that all the roots go to the ancient Irish legend of Stingy Jack. Apparently, there was a gentleman called Stingy Jack who decided to have a drink with the devil. Uh, a very questionable choice in my personal opinion. When the time came to pay for the drink, Stingy Jack decided to exercise the gift of a gab and managed to talk his way out of pain. Now, how did he do this? He managed to convince the devil to turn himself into the coin, so he kept this coin underneath the cross, so the devil wouldn't get out. Then he said to the devil that you would never take my soul for a year. I don't know why one year, but he said for a year. If I die for one year, within one year, you will not claim my soul. Somehow devil decided to agree to the deal. But unfortunately, when Jack died, God himself turned to him and said, I'm sorry, but I really don't want people like that, swindlers and stingy people, in the heaven. And devil said the same thing. He said, look, you've managed to talk your way out of so many things with me. I don't want you in hell either. So poor Jack was doomed to wander in between heaven and hell. 
and all he was given by God was a turnip to make a lantern to light his way. So poor Stinger Jack is now wandering with a lantern made of turnip. But where does the pumpkin come from, you may ask? It was always turnip. Pumpkin comes from America. When the Irish settled in America, they started making lanterns out of pumpkins because it was easier and they looked much, much better. And then this tradition came back to England. And now England is full of beautiful, ornate lanterns made of pumpkins on the Halloween day. Thank you very much for joining me on this vlog today. And do tell me if uh, you are celebrating the Halloween or if it's being celebrated in the country where you're from. I'd love to know your opinions and I'd love to know your thoughts. So do comment in the comment section down below. And of course, please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next week, bye bye.